Hey, Queens and Kings, welcome back, you guys, and happy new year to you all. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, and welcome to all our new Queens and Kings. So, it's been a minute that I've been into this apartment, but I know I never did show you guys my master bedroom, bathroom. So, I decided, I guess, 2020 of being the first video that I put out there showing you my beautiful face. <laughs> I, decide, I decided to actually give you guys a tour of my master bathroom. Now, it's not nothing big or major or anything like that. If you guys see my room tour, you basically know what colors is in my bathroom. But I just want to show you guys because, like I said, I never did got a chance to show you. So if you all would like to see how I decorated my apartment bathroom, why don't you keep on watching? Is the key. So now that we have entered the bathroom, on this wall here, the first wall that is connected basically with the door frame, over here I have some DIYs that I have done. Um, you guys have seen the video on these gorgeous little sconces here that I did make a while back. Now I did just call myself trying to spray paint the gold up here because this ribbon is actually silver um, just to bring some more gold on this side of the wall or anything like that. And before I got ready to show this video, also, I DIY this quick little sign here say, let's get naked. Um, if you guys have been with me for a while, you guys know that I did have a sign like this once before in my bathroom when we was living in West Palm. But it's the same concept of everything or whatever. But that was just was like a printout, but this one was handwritten or drawn or wrote or however you want to say it. I put it up here and the other one said get naked, but this one has say let's get naked. Because if you guys don't know, I am married, so I share this bathroom with my husband. I felt like let's get naked. It's a little more appropriate. <laughs> my towel rack here, I don't have nothing fancy going on. I just have the shades of colors that I actually have in the bathroom, which is the gold, the gray, the white, and the deep teal, or the Z Gallery word for it is cerulean teal or uh, whatever. So I just I'm gonna put some little decorative towels up here, you know, basically swap which way that I actually have them. Just put a little more contrast and different styling and everything over here. So, and this um, rod here is actually part of this bathroom, this apartment. I, it was silver and I painted gold. So I know when I get ready to move, um, I'm just going to have to buy another one or just paint it thing silver and put it back on the wall. So let's move on over here to the shower. It's still the same as any other shower. Only thing different is I do have curtains up here instead of a shower curtain. That's just to give the illusion of that the bathroom is taller, more up in height, because this is the average size of height where a shower curtain would start at and work your way down to the bottom so it can touch the ground. But by being putting the curtains up here, like I said, it gives you the illusion that the bathroom is much taller. So that's a good um, home decor tip if you have not known that or anything like that. But I'm quite sure if I should know that by now, like it's no top secret. But I do have these little velvet teal curtains that I put up here. I have a clear shower curtain behind it and then I have some gold hooks that hold in the clear shower curtain and then I DIY my little shower curtain rod which you guys can't see but you'll see in a moment that is just gold because I actually was looking for one on Amazon. Amazon wanted to charge you $18, $20 for a shower curtain rod that's going to turn rusted anyway like for a gold one and I couldn't find that like in Walmart or not even Bath and Beyond so but anyways these um, curtains came from TJMaxx.com. So I really do love it. I love how they drape the floor and make it look all soft and romantic. So I really do love this look here. Any bathroom that I would have from here on out would have this look. If you guys have not seen my guest bathroom, you would know that by now. Okay, so here for my over my toilet area, um, I didn't want the bath, um, the towel rod over here. So I, like I said, I did remove it and put it on this side of the wall here because this is directly across from the toilet. Um, I wanted something to be able to house my, um, you know, decor and stuff like this. Some extra decorative towels. These towels you don't touch. Don't touch these towels when you go to people's house. Ask them before you touch their towels, okay? Because you don't touch those decorative towels. One look like the bathroom, decorate like, don't do that, don't do that. But anyways, I just have some towels up here. And these are old shell that I got off like this little storage unit thing I had a, uh, I'm not sure what it was, but I just took the shelving out of just to make it some shelving because honest, 
Shells are very high and expensive, so it was a cheap way to go about doing it. And I just got these little brackets here from Walmart, which was like no more than a dollar. And this made me two shells or whatever, so that's why I still look like it's kind of undone, but I like the way that it looks. So I just have this little trinkets tray up here that I got from um, Home Goods that I probably will put like my jewelry or anything in there. I have my uh, Mrs. Myers bathroom spray, and this is a mint smell, which is kind of ironic that it's actually the same color as the bathroom, so that's why it's really in here. And then this little old candle holders that I do have for what I cleaned out has, you know, toothpicks and Q-tips and stuff like that in there. So just a way if I could bring, take things off of the countertop and put it up on the shelf so, you know, that could be all clear. Now, on top of the shelf here, I just have this little decorative perfume bottle, which I do have this going around in my room. If you guys seen, I know I have bookends that I made. I have the bank that I got from Z Gallery. I have the globe and all that stuff there. So, yeah. And then I have some, um, the canisters up here, which I have like my salt, um, I can't think of what it called. I can't think of what to call it. This is more good, but you guys know when you put it in your, in your hot tub or whatever, your bathtub, and my preference is going to be bathtub when I'm having my little moments. And this here supposed to be like bubble bath bin, but I done ran out and I cleared it out because I want to get it like a clear kind of what I just have not ran across it. And then instead of me using the top to go to because I really broke the top, I just would put one of my little crystals on top of there and a totally dazzle um, napkin ring on there just to bring out some more little gold. And then I have some more towels over here. So let's move, oh, and down below, above the sink, not much going on. I need to fill back up my toilet um, container for what I do have for toilet paper holder or whatever, you know, cute little tray or whatever. And that's pretty much it for over the toilet. So y'all, let's move on over here to the sink. Okay, Queens and Kings, so for the sink area, my sink area is very simple. I try to keep it this way as best as possible because... Living with a man can be very hard trying to keep things tedious, like up in care. You you guys know if you have a man staying with you, married or not married, boyfriend, side nigga, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> my bad. But um, I don't have much going on over here. Like I said, I do have my little cute little flower here that is from all over the place. It's just an arrangement that I did make myself. But this... Um, Vase here is from Z Gallery. So I just, like I said, I have a lot of cute little picks. Most of the flowers are from Walmart besides the little furry snow flower here. A little icy flower came from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And then on the opposite side, I just have this little towel holder here that I do have here. And a soap pump holder where, you know, your hand sanitizer, I mean, lotion, uh, whatever, you know, to clean and wash your hand. And then I just have a bath and body works kind of that should be lit by now, but... I'm not like because I have this little plug in, in here. So that's really as simple. My bathroom, and I just have some gray rugs down on the floor. Nothing much major going on. And behind the door, I have my little DIY canvas that I did do. So that's is pretty much it. What's going on in my bathroom? <music> Queens and Kings. So that is it for my master bathroom tour. I hope you guys enjoy what I did show you guys and how affordable it is and how affordable it is for me to decorate by living in an apartment because it you don't have to go out and buy so much or do so much just to spruce up a bathroom because it's not that big really like honestly. Um, so but I hope you guys enjoy my apartment bathroom tour and if you all did please like comment share and subscribe and I will talk to you royal queens and kings in the next video.